Hypey, 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 hype. Not yet. Uh -uh. Okay, camera rolling. <laughs> I am super nervous and excited, man. Welcome to the new Rock On video. Today, we have the honor to be one of the first in the world once again to show you a bike that is essential for the growth of KTM as a company and a bike that has millions of fans around the globe. I'm talking about the brand new 2024 KTM 390 Duke. It has a complete makeover. Everything is new from the engine to the frame, the plastic, the TFT display, you name it. So we're gonna dive into all the features and with no further ado, my dear rockers, here's the new bike. I have been riding the KTM 390 Duke since the day one when they were launched back in 2013 and man what a difference in the past 10 years you can see the whole improvements through all the years like all the details were now refined the bikes performs better and so on so if we already see the bodywork is completely changed and this time they went for more premium look and they did it with a multi-layered wet painted plastics with overcoated graphics this time so it means that the graphics are under the paint not on the paint so also that premium looks continues also to the seat you see also this pattern here and the stitching and this detail here in electric orange they call it makes it all premium and a really cool feature this time the seat is also height adjustable so the pattern from the seat continues here to the inner spoiler. We are missing it here because this bike is a pre-production one, means that it, some bits and pieces are still prototype, uh, but this laser engraved pattern looks really nice and makes this bike uh, look premium. And it has also another feature. KTM decided this time to differentiate the 390 Duke from its table mates, the 125 Duke and the 250 Duke by the different tank spoilers. It's longer, wider, and it has also visible air intake, so it looks more aggressive, more stronger. And the next difference is external LED positioning lights. But listen now closer, guys. They will be also available as a technical accessory for your 125 and 250 Duke. The new KTM 390 Duke comes in two color options. They're calling it the Atlantic Blue, which is this bike here, and the Electric Orange. If we look at the Duke range as the whole, from the 125 Duke to the 390, the engineers gathered a lot of knowledge through the years when we talk about the engine. This time they refurbish it and it's the new generation of the lightweight single cylinders. It's called the LC4C, C stands for the compact, and it's also increased in terms of the capacity. It has now 399 cc and the stroke is now longer by 64 millimeters which actually means it has more torque in the lower rpm the head is new the gearbox is new and it's also ready for euro 5 plus compatibility the next part that was completely redesigned is the frame the main frame stayed a trellis frame with a different design of course and the subframe is actually the difference this time they made it out of pressure die cast aluminum and the whole goal was to improve the agility and the feedback from the chassis itself. We continue with one of the most important parts on a bike for me personally is the suspension. So the KTM 390 Duke comes with the WP Apex 43mm forks and they have also 150mm travel. And listen now guys, it has an open cartridge this time which means adjustable compression and rebound with 5 clicks each. And on the rear we have now WP Apex separate piston shock and it has also 5 click adjustability for the rebound and a tool adjustability for the preload. It has also a new triple clamp with a new offset which improves also handling and stability for the rider. <laughs> Let's go! So at first glance when you look at the Duke 390 you see this suspension on the side, not in the middle of the bike but this time on the side. This was 
made possible with the new die cast swing arm out of aluminum and it has now an offset suspension and the shape allows two new things a freshly designed new muffler and a lower seat position and in general if you look at the bike it gives it a more modern feel let's talk tech it shares the new TFT 5 inch display from its big brother with bonded glass. So when I ride, I want to focus what's in front of me, not what my display says. So KTM improved also the animation of the whole new display. So they added nice pictograms to all the ride modes, all the settings on the bike that you can toggle through when you're riding. And also they have, like if you go to the settings, languages, this is really a cool feature. And then we have different ride modes, street, rain and track. And if I click on track and I go back to the menu, the track mode changes the screen to a more race focused layout, uh, enlarging all the revs and the lap timers and so on. So all the important information when you are on the track. Let me show you the first feature that shocked me. So it's the launch control and each 390 Duke comes with that feature and launch control actually helps you to get off the line faster. Then we have also uh, motorcycle traction control, ABS with two options, supermodo and road. Quick shifter plus is now optional on all the models on 125 Duke, 250 and the 390 Duke. Andre, I have an idea because we were talking for a while now. Let's take all the bike from the garage. Let's go to a stun spot. Let's stun the bike. Let's see how it really drifts, stop is. Let's see how the new 390 performs. And if we finish it up with a few more amazing features. What do you think? It was about time. Okay, let's do that. Man, what a fun bike, eh? amazing. I could ride it the whole day. Woo. And uh, yeah, you could really feel how much effort the whole KTM crew and the engineers put in the new gen and amazing, man. All the, I, I adjust my suspension front and rear to a bit harder. So I have a better stopping control and also on the drift, stiffer suspension is better. So it's amazing that this bike has this already and the uh, lower torque definitely i can feel that this improvement or more capacity and more torque on the lower rpm especially always when you drift you really can play with the throttle and it has enough power and pulling up a wheelie is a bit easier and yeah brake power amazing you can really uh, adjust the brakes super easy and i could talk for days about the improvements and by the way, we still have a few more features to go. They are really cool. So let's start with the next one. Let's continue with the wheels and the tires. The wheels itself, they have less spokes and different shape. The inner hub is now hollow and all that with the goal to reduce the weight. Approximately 3.5 kg with the disc together. And the wheels itself are wrapped in Michelin tires. This one in Continental because it's a prototype bike. But the ones that will be in the shop will have Michelin tires. The 390 comes with a spec top brake system. If we start with the caliper, four piston on the front, two piston now on the back, 320 millimeter on the front, 240 on the back. 
and as you can see also completely redesigned the caliper and the disc brake the disc brake doesn't have an inner ring that's why it's also lighter and less rotational mass again and one interesting thing i was questioning myself why is the disc brake this time on the right side and not as usual on the left and the engineer told me just because of the visual effect because the rim has now less spokes uh, it looks weird when the bike is parked and now with the disc it looks more strong more powerful and i agree an adjustable brake levers and also adjustable clutch lever and also the brake pumps give me a really good feeling you can see that on the long stop as i did so all in all a great upgrade on the brake segment also and yeah if you go fast you need good brakes and another cool feature is the supermoto mode and that technology helps you to slide into the corner and be faster around it we're gonna end up this video with a massive trick Let me know what you think about the KTM 390 Duke. And we also did a sick KTM 125 Duke review video to feature all the new upgrades. So if you want to watch it, click here. The bodywork.